Well, the results are in. Daniel, uh, Daniel Cormier versus uh, Stipe Miocic, man. Daniel knocked his motherfucking ass out. Knocked him clean out in the first round, man. I couldn't believe those results. Like, I honestly thought DC would win, but I never thought he would knock him out, especially not in the first round. But, you know, you should have suspected a... You should have expected that there would be a knockout when you got two dominant people like that together. You know, that's like... That's like Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield or somebody like that. You know, when you got two people with that much power, you almost got to expect a knockout. But I never would have thought it would have been in the first round. But, you know, a lot of people were saying that, you know, he ain't never fought, uh, Stipe that is, he's never fought somebody like DC, somebody who can grapple and strike. And he's shorter, which, um, you know, you, you, know, you got to remember, most of the people Stipe has fought has been around the same height as him, around 6'3", 6'4", 6'5". So you got this short little, I don't even think DC is six feet. He's like 5'11", right? So you got this short guy coming up on you who can grapple you. He can come up there and uppercut you. He can strike. He can get to your face. But you got to punch down, man. It's really hard to punch down. It's a lot easier to punch up than punch down. So um, DC did it, man. Now we got to see DC versus John Jones part three. You know, John Jones needs to get his shit together so we can see a part three, man, because that's going to be epic. And, you know, DC is one of the best uh, heavyweight fighters of all time. It's irrefutable now. I mean, we already knew this, but it's just no refuting it anymore. He's knocked out Stipe Miocic, somebody who, you know, seemed uh, undefeatable. He seemed like somebody who would never lose to anybody. He was knocking out people left and right, knocking out the greats, uh, you know, Overeem and uh, Fr Francis, uh, whatever his last name is, you know, just knocking out all these heavy hitters. And DC went in there and made some work of his ass. And I don't know if you guys saw it. Uh, Brock Lesnar came up in the octagon right after that. He came and pushed the hell out of DC. He pushed him damn near in the uh, next week. So, you know, hopefully we can see a Brock Lesnar versus DC before John Jones, because I don't think John Jones can fight again until 2019. So, uh, Brock Lesnar versus uh, DC, and then maybe Brock Lesnar versus John Jones. and you know, I don't know how it's going to play out, man, but the heavyweight division is looking really excited right now for the uh, UFC. Hell, we might even see a Stipe versus DC rematch because I know Stipe. I mean, of course, nobody wants to lose their belt, but um, you damn sure don't want to lose your belt by getting knocked out in the first round. So I'm sure Stipe wants to come back and maybe try to, uh, you know, fight again. I, you know, it's just it's really interesting right now. I'm going to be following for the next month or so seeing how everything plays out man everything's looking really great right now so um anyway i appreciate you guys watching as always comment down below what did you think did you think dc was going to win or you know were you surprised with the results let me know down below peace